Oh, hey there, guys. Oh, it's in my fucking eyes. Oh, broken tractor. Burn it. Come on, Bubba, get the fucking gas. We're mixing explosives and you're smoking a fucking cigarette. <laughs> and there's these nasty ass, like, 20 year olds jumping around barking at each other in the fucking park. It's like a Cinemark sponsored cringe comp. Like, it's bad, bro. I would like to prove to Meredith and her punk ass dad that I am not a loser and that I am worthy to take her to prom. I love my guns in the same way that YouTube likes fucking my tight windy ass. Like a person <laughs> like yeah, yeah. I really love this holster. I can now hide this gun better than my sexuality. I like my women like I like my guns oiled up and locked in my safe. Hello, I'm Mediocre Montgomery and uh today Hello, I'm uh, Mediocre Montgomery. Welcome back to the Mediocre Militia. This is going to be a review of the brand new Finch uh, Model 1929. So I did a review of my original uh, 1929 uh, before I totally mutilated the scales. And I suppose I'll start off by saying I still love uh, my original. Uh, unconditionally. After a little over a year of use and abuse, um, my original is still very, very sharp. Knife still locks up nice and snug, uh, despite the mild punishment, kind of like your mom. Anyways, the action is still smooth and the blade centering is still straight as an arrow. It's a great knife. The only damage is my cosmetic blunder uh, on the scales, which is totally by my own design uh, because I'm a fucking idiot. Now, I would like to introduce the new uh, Voodoo Smooth White Bone model of the Finch um, 1929. It retails for right around uh, $135 without tax or shipping. Uh, I ordered mine from uh, traditionalpocketknives.com, uh, and I recommend you check them out. The shipping was super fast, uh, pretty straightforward. So you might be asking, uh, why did I buy another 1929? Uh, well, originally I didn't want to. I reached out to, to Finch to see if they sell uh, replacement scales as an isolated product, but they don't. Uh, at the moment, anyways. Um, so after some half-assed calculation, I semi-reluctantly decided to pull the trigger, and it showed up a few days later on my doorstep along with my Taiwanese mail-order bride, uh, who made a great meal in retrospect. Unbeknownst to me, I had no idea that this new uh, this new trilogy of 1929s uh, have been slimmed down uh, in the handles and bolster area. Uh, my terminology might be off. So that was a pleasant uh, yet subtle surprise to me. I think it makes the knife look and feel a little more uh, streamlined and proportionally correct, um, especially uh, in regards to like the thickness of the blade itself. This might not seem like a big deal, uh, and I guess it really isn't, uh, but I actually prefer uh, my new one to my old one uh, for, that, for that reason alone. Um, with that being said, the tolerances uh, and lockup feel substantially more solid than my original. But again, I've been carrying my original for a little over a year. So that being said, this one is probably just kind of worn in. Uh, one thing about the new Finch that may be a turnoff for some of you is that the screw heads are unapologetically proud. I mean, you probably can't necessarily see it from here, but I mean, I can run my uh, fingers over pretty much all of them. The top half of the shield is also proud but uh, the lower half is not. It's actually pretty much, uh, you can run your finger, I mean, you can feel it a little bit, but uh, it's, it's pretty much where it needs to be. So uh, juxtaposed to the original, the screws and the shield are absolutely perfect. Uh, no problems with that at all. Now, uh, maybe that's a, a product of slimming the knife down. Perhaps the, the, the scales themselves are now a little slimmer. I'm not entirely sure. This knife, the new one, uh, is absolutely gorgeous. And, and don't worry, I have no intention of bastardizing the craftsmanship of the scales. Um, the action is smoother than Prince and Rick James' ass baby offspring. The pocket clip is stout, uh, and it complements the traditional minimalist uh, aesthetic. Um, and, and drags it screaming and kicking into the 21st century uh, 
uh, for us to fondle and fidget with. It's an instant classic uh, that, that evokes feelings of uh, sophistication and class, while also kind of like bridging the gap um, into like the camp of like a humble cowboy or something. Um, the best way I can put it to words uh, is if Charles E. Bowles, uh, aka Black Bart, was a knife. Keep life from getting dull. Uh, once again, it's a pretty cool knife, but it hasn't necessarily alleviated that issue. If you like my content, please like, sub, and share. Uh, sharing is probably the most important thing you can do. Um, if you think I'm a total fucking idiot, please leave a hateful comment. Uh, deuces. Personally, I love the, 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 the white color.